Rumor has it that an adult wild boar is so ferocious that it will be worse than any predator. When there is no extreme need, then even wolves do not risk getting involved with this uncontrollable tank. Is this really so? Let's try to figure it out in this video. If you have something to add on this topic, we invite you to the discussion in the comments. If you sincerely admire wildlife and animals, then subscribe to our channel because there will be many more exciting videos. So what is the danger of the boar? Let's figure it out. We will consider not all wild boars in general, but only males as the most powerful and ferocious. Although in some situations females can give a heat. And yet in this case, let's talk specifically about adult males. Here is some basic information about the boar. The animal's body length is 1.5 meters and the height at the withers is about 1 meter. The mass of the animal usually does not exceed 100 to 120 kilograms. But there are wild boars weighing under 200 kilograms. Tusks vary in length from 15 to 20 centimeters. The boar is rather clumsy but at the same time fast. From a standstill it accelerates very quickly. Runs at maximum speed up to 40 km per hour. His eyesight is not very good, so he relies mainly on hearing and smell. However, in close combat he perfectly sees everything and is able to quickly react to danger. The boar's main weapon is its long fangs. Sometimes he can use his hooves. Well, here's the basic information we just learned about the wild boar. So can a wolf be able to defeat a boar alone? Our answer may surprise you. No, it cannot. Even a couple of wolves do not pose a serious danger to an adult boar. The wolves will try to attack from different directions, alternating different tactics. But it will be very problematic to overwhelm the boar. In the case of one wolf, the boar is usually the first to go on the offensive. And the wolf has no choice but to run back to a safe distance, since he has enough skill. Only a tiger can handle a wild boar alone without any problems. For him, this is a tasty catch. Despite the fact that wolves are very dangerous and that they have very sharp teeth and powerful jaws, they are also cunning and resourceful. At the same time, they behave rather cautiously with prey that can give them a fight. But the main strength of wolves is not in the teeth, but in the collective organization. Attacking a large animal in a flock, they greatly increase their chances of winning. Seven against one is just about them. If in a fight with one wolf, all the advantage is on the side of the boar, then when meeting with a whole flock, the chances of the boar to get out of the water dry are noticeably lower. However, it has one advantage. The boar is a very hardy animal. It is not so easy to knock him down with bullets, and therefore he can endure the bites of wolves for a long time. In general, a lot will depend on the boar himself, how strong and motivated he will be to win. After all, not every male boar has the same experience and strength. Despite the fact that the boar is a cautious animal, in the moment of rage fear is unknown to him. And we mean absolutely. Here's the thing, the wolves fight for dinner and the boar fights for life. His motivation is clearly higher. Therefore, when there is nowhere to run or it makes no sense, an angry boar rushes right at any enemy like a tank. But of course, in most cases, wolves get their way. Although it should be noted that this is not easy for them. The boar is a serious opponent. You can't take it at once. If the wolves have to choose who to attack, a male or a female, or even better, a little boar, then they will definitely not get involved with a wild boar. They will bypass him on the longest route. So we figured out the topic of wild boars and wolves. 
Now let's find out how a wolf differs from a dog. The fact that the grey wolf is stronger and more resilient than a dog is a no-brainer, but the main difference is still in something else. A wolf and a dog belong to the same family, canines, and even outwardly they are very similar. There are even breeds of domestic dogs which are difficult to distinguish from a wolf outright. In any case, a common man in the street may not figure out who is in front of him, a wolf or a dog. If we consider the differences between a wolf and a dog in general terms, several key points can be distinguished. The wolf is stronger, the wolf is larger, the wolf is more hardy. The wolf also has better hearing and smell and more powerful jaws. Actually, this is not a secret for anyone. Many films have been made about wolves and the main differences are known to many. So why is a wolf better than a dog in all respects? There is only one explanation. Thanks to humans, many dogs simply lose their working qualities. People breed dogs in large numbers, but many owners have dogs either sitting on a chain all day, walking only on weekends, or spending most of their time indoors. There is very little physical activity. Only a few people actually train dogs. Here we mean not professional dog handlers, but ordinary people. In general, while many dogs are chained or at home, or for example go to dog shows, the wolf hones and improves its skills by hunting wild animals. It is clear that he will have more strength and experience. An ordinary dog simply has nothing to oppose to a predatory beast. If we talk about a fundamental difference, then, in our opinion, this is a trick. Whether it is congenial or acquired is perhaps not so important. The main thing is that the wolf is more cunning than any dog, even the most trained one. The extraordinary intelligence of the grey one is evidenced by his ability to pretend. For example, in some situations wolves use a special hunting technique. They lure the prey to an inconvenient place for the victim, where they can easily deal with it. It looks like this. A lone wolf approaches a private house or territory guarded by a dog, and with all its appearance demonstrates its insecurity and cowardice. The meaning of this concert is for the dog to think, or even better, to believe that the wolf is afraid of it. When the dog swallowed the bait and began to show more aggression towards the predator, the wolf starts to run away. But he does not run away quickly so that the dog realizes that it is possible to chase and teach the intruder a lesson. And if the dog runs after the wolf, it will be ambushed. For example, one or two wolves nearly may sit in bushes, waiting for the right moment to attack. And then a matter of technicality. Wolves easily and quickly deal with a stupid and naive dog. In some situations even an ambush is not necessary, for example when the wolf is working alone. The predator simply lures the dog away into the forest, running away from it, and then turns sharply and attacks. So the wolf is really smarter and more resourceful than the dog. Well friends, we really hope that you liked this video and enjoyed watching it. We are waiting for your comments and also ask you to share this video with your friends who also love nature and animals. See you soon! Они похожи на тени. Они живут за пределами нашего с вами мира. Как домашний пес, она гуляет на поводке и даже виляет хвостом. Дикую натуру выдает голос. Точнее, его отсутствие. Волки не умеют лаять. Эй, 
ты так не делай. Ты агрессивно что-то мне. Ты мне не нравишься. Я тебе по-хорошему, а ты как? А?